These new Ama 4s might actually be one of the best shoes this year. And I know you guys hear a bunch of people saying that online about every single sneaker that comes out. But you don't hear me say it too often, only on certain models. But when it comes to these bad boys right here, I'm telling you right now, they went crazy on this project. And I'm sure a ton of people are saying they're just like the old pair, it's just a different color. So all I can do is show you guys the styles, cuts, and materials and differences between the new release and the old release and show you guys poll results at the end of the video to see what everybody else thinks as well so let's go ahead and get into this shoe starting with the box as you can see this is definitely a different switch up compared to the original box like we saw with the all over I'm I'm in ear print with the pull out sleeve with the classic Air Jordan 4 box on the inside and the amazing details and don't get me wrong they killed it with this as well but when you talk about special boxes collaborations and experiences of simply just opening up a pair of shoes they left no stone unturned on this project so this box is gonna be similar to your Air Jordan 3 box as well that we're we're gonna see coming out very very soon and on the front on the label it reads right here women's air jordan 4 retro ogsp fossil stone metallic pewter size 14 and a half it's a women's release so that's a 13 and that's just for me and retail on these is supposed to be set for 250 bucks but who knows it might be changing up at this point now when you go to the side panel on the box right here you have your Jumpman logo it's more of a matte finish all throughout the black box and it's a metallic Jumpman logo but when you peel the two sides off you can also see you have the converse logo here on the left side and the nike branded logo on the right side now in the center of the box you're gonna have this silver line and then you're gonna have the Ama Manier logo and then flipping that up you're gonna have this metallic lid and that's gonna be an all over AMA print. Now the first thing that you're gonna see right here is gonna be a premium suede like microfiber, whatever you wanna call it, cloth. And that's gonna be very different than your typical plastic paper that you would see. But then when you peel that back, you also have your additional set of white paper that's covering the shoe. And then you got the shoe. Oh, you got the shoe. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Hey! Now before we get to breaking down all the styles, cuts, materials between this release and the OG, because trust me, there are a lot of differences, we gotta talk about the history first. Back in 2021, we saw the AMA Air Jordan 3 hit the scene, and I'm telling you right now, everybody went crazy for this shoe. Resale prices were insane, and honestly, they're still pretty expensive. This was actually a women's release, and there have been multiple releases that have come out over the years, whether it's the 3s, other colorways of the 3s, the 4s, the 5s, the 12s, potentially the the 17s and who knows what else they have next lined up either way over the past three to four years Amma Manier has definitely been setting a tone in the game when it comes to their projects and the packaging and craftsmanship of all their sneakers now back in 2022 we saw the violet or air jordan 4 and this was actually a men's release there was a ton of hype behind this shoe when it first was announced and slowly as it started to come out next thing you know people still love the shoe but they didn't really value it as much simply because a lot of people realized they couldn't really wear it with a bunch of outfits Fits, and also there was a lot of quality control issues on this model and I know I've been talking about amazing quality and everything like that because my pair looks great but at the same time there were definitely some people that had some issues with their pairs so it definitely made me wonder how well would they do with this pair and I noticed one huge thing the shape of this shoe is so much better and I think that's gonna be a huge factor as to why a lot of people choose this one over the previous release from the past so let's go ahead and start from the outsole and work our way up and go through all the details of this sneaker and then I'll show you guys side by side comparisons of the two models so you guys can have a better understanding and realize that these are definitely not the same shoe and they switched up a lot of different things on this new version that I'm probably assuming a ton of people will prefer these over the old ones starting with the outsole you have your classic Air Jordan 4 bottom you got the brown hits here on the front and the back end and then your brown Nike branding in the center of the foot which means what Nike Air is always going to be on the back and then throughout the rest of the areas in the foot where the hair and bone traction is at that's all going to be in that cell color wrapping up to the side of the foot and around the toe now one thing that's different between this new pair and the original pair the outsoles do look similar but when you put them right next to each other you'll realize that the original pair actually had a black nike branding and the new pair has that brown nike branding and if you also look at the different colors on the sails and the browns you'll notice that they're a little bit lighter on the older pair as well now going up to the midsole you're gonna have polyurethane all wrapping around all throughout the back and the inside of the foot and you got your exposed air unit right here and it looks like a light gray i can't tell if it's gray or white let me know down below in the comments Section. Now when it comes to the midsoles on these two shoes from the old and the new this one definitely does look very very similar Even the air unit and the colors and everything so I can say that part is pretty much identical now taking it to the upper This is gonna be a huge part where I think there are a ton of switch ups And I'm telling you not only with the materials but the actual shape of the shoe as well So as you guys know over the past I would say what five years now we've had the Air Jordan 4 
being recreated in this new modern day OG style cut from 1989. But at the beginning days, they were slowly kind of changing things and the tongue was not right, the toe was not right, the shape was a little bit off, it was a little bit too bulky in the back end and the front end, and then it was kind of too slim and it was too puffy. And, and they kind of were just slowly, each model, every single release was just kind of getting refined and refined and refined. And we've gotten to this point now in mid 2024, and this shoe right here, you know how we love the military blue fours because of the shape and everything like that? They're right on track with these right here. Now, when you look at the pair from 2022, you can see, yes, they brought those elements from the new pair, but it's kind of more like pushed down, pancaked a little bit, looking like the older days, but not the same. The toe box is a little bit bulkier. It's not all the way set correct. You know what I'm saying? It's there but it's not all the way there. So when you put these two shoes side by side and see them in hand, you realize that the shape, and if you like the shape of the shoe, the new pair is way more superior than the old pair. So now that we have the understanding of the shapes of the two shoes and how they're different, which you guys will see with the side-by-side -side photos, let's go ahead and get into all the details of this new version. The upper is covered in a premium suede all throughout the shoe, except for around the toe cap and the mud guard area. You can actually see right here, it's gonna be in a very hairy suede. And honestly, I like the contrast in materials, but I like how they kept the colors of the materials very similar. This is something more like the military blue Air Jordan 4s, how it has a different color material on the front and it's a different material as well and I like how they did that but still kept it classic and very coordinated throughout the upper now continuing on with those same colors throughout the upper you're gonna have that same color here on the arm and the front end around the eye stay area the mesh and nets are gonna be the same color and then you're gonna have more of a premium lace on this pair compared to the old pair as well these come with an additional pair of cell laces and white laces to go in the shoe and honestly I think these could look good with any one of these colors let me know down below in the comment section what you guys would do and I get it, I feel like black or brown laces might look good as well. They don't come with those, but it might be a good substitute. Now going to the tongue, this is another switch up that I immediately noticed compared to the old pair. You have this Jordan branding here and more of this plastic material, and that's gonna be sticking up. And then you have your classic Air Jordan 4 patch with the white text just below. And then you have that premium suede all throughout the tongue with the rough edge finish, and then that stitching around the top. Now when you look at the older pair, you can see you still have that same classic Jordan branding, but you realize it's just a regular patch without that additional plastic Jumpman piece right there on the top of the tongue, which to me just screams a little bit more premium. Now looking at the back of the tongue, this is gonna be another difference between these and the past pair. This is gonna be an all over Am Amanier print and on the left tongue it's gonna look the same but it's gonna say Air Jordan in the upside down text. Now when you look at the Violet Ore from 2022, you can realize they actually don't even have the tongue patch on the back side of the tongue at all. And another big thing on these as well is you're gonna have a satin on the back of the tongue with a diamond stitch. Which for those that don't know was also similar to the Air Jordan 3. You had the diamond stitch with the satin and that also stayed consistent on the inside of the sock liner. So continuing that theme with the new pair, they decided to go with the same sock liner as that as well with the diamond stitch and the satin all throughout. And honestly, I love that hit. One of the shoes that first caught my eye back in the day with that type of touch on it was the Dornbecker Air Jordan 6s. If you guys all remember, on that sock liner you had that gold satin with the navy diamond stitch with the little x's in between it very very similar this set the tone for me way back and i always think of this shoe whenever i see that hit on any other sneaker i almost forgot to mention if you look at the lace tips it also says work harder on here on the end of the lace tip so i like how they had that nice subtle touch i didn't check the cell pair or the white pair to see if it had it i'm assuming it does but if it doesn't it's okay just wanted to let you guys know now looking at the insoles on here one huge hit that everybody is going to be excited about polyurethane on the insole very very nice touch we get to see this on a lot of collaborations and i always prefer that it's on collabs and ogs and honestly i wish it was in every shoe but i get it you know they only want to spend some certain money on certain models so i you know i, I get where you're going with it jordan brand trying to cut corners however you can to save a couple bucks now besides the comfort and the fact that everybody's going to love these insoles if you look at the top of the sock liner right here you can see that it has that same all over print like it did on the back of the tongue now before i put the insole back into the shoe if you actually look they have a small detail detail in here and kind of like a grayish black text and it says while you were sleeping now this could be a reference to a whole bunch of different things I like how it says work harder here so I'm assuming like while you were sleeping we was working whatever it may be I don't know I haven't found any other subtle details like that on this shoe just yet but if you know another meaning to that let me know down below in the comment section but for us sneaker wizards we love these small details on the shoe that just help tell the story a little bit more and give us cool things to look at when we're at home just fiddling with 
with our kicks. And speaking of that small detail, they had a similar thing on the previous pair from the past. On the back tab on the right foot, it says it's not about the shoes, dot, dot, dot. And on the left foot here, it says it's about where you're going. And then it has Michael Jordan's signature. So you kind of understand that message. But again, I like those subtle hits that they like to add on each one of these models. Also, speaking of that, before we get into the full details of the back tab differences, look at the insoles. This one has a diamond stitch all throughout it and it's covered in a leather and then you have this nice patch embroidered here at the bottom end it says I'm a Manier, inspired by the street culture fashion and the greatest athlete in history holiday 2022 signed by Michael Jordan I like this touch as well on the insole and then on the back end right here as you can see you have a dream cell insole and then it has that diamond stitch obviously because they had to stitch that leather piece to the insole now going to the back tab of this shoe you can see you have that same color matching with the upper and then you have your black Nike Air branding and then obviously when you put it side by side with the other pair clear difference with the coloring but another thing that I can say is the actual tab this one's just a little bit just a slight just a little bit a little bit more flexible right here this is the area that loves to tear up your Achilles when you're rocking this shoe especially if you got some low socks on who it could be a rough day now obviously everybody would prefer this SB4 back tab on every single Air Jordan 4 <sighs> But, you know, we'll take what we can get. So now when it comes to hang tags on this shoe, you got your classic Air Jordan 4 hang tag right here, clear plastic with the Nike Air branding and that brown on the center of it compared to that orange. And then on this little cardboard piece right here, you have that same thing, kind of similar to what we saw on the inside of the insole of the previous pair, but just more in a rectangular shape. But they added it here on the side of the foot, which maybe they thought about doing it on the other one, but they was like, hey, it's too expensive, so let's just add this little piece of cardboard, cut a couple bucks right there i get where they're going on that aspect as well but on here it says i'm i'm in year quality goods handle with care inspired by street culture fashion and the greatest athlete in history season and then it has like just a open space there and then approved by michael jordan with a signature as well so we see a similarity on how they had that you know going from the past but changing up a little bit on the future and then on the back end right here you got the i'm i'm in year logo so that's pretty much a full in-depth look at this shoe let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section and let's go ahead and get into the poll results to see what everybody else said on my IG story. 82% of the people said this shoe was fire and 18% of the people said this shoe was trash. Let me know what you think about those poll results down below in the comment section. Now when I compared them to the first release, I was also very interested because I know this is the new hot and shiny thing, but actually <laughs> these are low key better. 60% of the people chose the new release and 40% of the people chose the old release. Let me know what you think about that down below in the comment section. And if you guys want to see any other videos like this, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and for those that were asking where i got the shoes from early shout out to my homies over there at soul steels they did a drop last week and i had to make sure i jumped on this because not only did i want to add these to my collection but i wanted to give you guys an early look at this shoe because i had a feeling they were going to have a lot of cool details on these compared to the old ones soon as i saw the packaging so if you ever want to check them out hit the link down below in the description it's a monthly subscription and they have a ton of deals on their website they do special drops every sunday at 3 p.m and trust me i'm on there every week weekend looking at shoes to see what they got i've copped a ton of different shoes from them over the years so if you want to get signed up and get a bunch of good deals hit the link down below and i'll see you guys in another video i would never let you down and send my dna hey, the hey, only choice i like to make what i'm aware it's today one i would never let you down and send my dna the only choice i like to make what i'm aware today i was made for it it's in the dna